Hello everyone, this is Sean from Sean's Travels, and since we're now in September of 2024, I'm starting with my college football stadium videos again. And I begin on day three of my April of 2020, 2011 road trip with my journey to the Clemson University campus, and of course, Georgia Tech's in there as well. Now, it was April, it was spring, so of course I got good pictures with my digital camera of the spring trees and the flowers, which of course the digital camera was brand new then, so the colors are nice and vibrant. I didn't have to enhance a single one of them for it to show up, and of course uh, I walked along the road to get to the stadium and started approaching the parking lot and... Uh, I think you'll see the stadium in the next picture, the front part of it. Anyway, there's Memorial Stadium, Frank Howard Field, okay. It's a Clemson Tiger in the symbol, and through the gates, as much as I could, from within the parking lot, I got pictures of the stands and everything. And there's the orange tiger paw again, which also showed up on the pavement of the crosswalks. And there's a small map of the stadium itself, and there's a good view of the stands from within. And a plaque, the different Creel family gate. Now Creel's the last name of a character in the Shannara books who helped Shea Almsford and his descendants. And of course there's a further away view, so you can see the gates block a lot, so I stand back. I think it says tigers in there. And you can see some of the southern trees. They may not have anything on the uh, leaves yet, but there is a good view of the stand, see? I think that says Clemson, or at least some of the words of that. And there you're getting, easing back from the stadium now, and I believe the next one shows a picture from somewhat up the hill and shows the stadium. It's a good thing the empty trees are there, otherwise I wouldn't have seen anything. And of course a squirrel posed for the picture for me on the concrete steps there. And then, of course, you're getting a few of the uh, historical buildings around the Clemson campus before I left. So I think that's the John Calhoun house, and you got a better view there. Looks a bit like a miniature of the White House in its own way. Let's see what the next plaque picture is here. Okay, Fort Hill Legacy, all right. And then, of course, I started making my way back towards the bookstore because, of course, I had to get a Clemson football. And you see some of the very wide stairs and concrete paths and the water fountains that exist on the campus. There's another picture there. Now, you can see how some of the trees, even in early April, already have leaves. It's not just that we're far enough south for that to occur. But we're also far enough south that there are some trees that never lose their leaves in the winter in the first place. And so it's quite beautiful with all the buildings and the campuses and everything. And there's a few more pictures of the spring trees and the leaves just coming out. As I went further south, they came out to full bloom by the time I got into Georgia and Florida. And one last picture of the... at the top of the stairs, the spring time colors and then you get into the first pictures from Georgia. So I took a picture when I crossed the state line at the Welcome Center and then around lunchtime, I think it was around noon, I got to the, the campus of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the different entrances to the stadium. I think one of them was actually the bookstore entrance. And of course you can see through the stadium gate anyway onto the field. I had to take pictures this way because I thought, oh, well, there's no way this stadium will have any gates open or anything, so I have to take what pictures I can through the stadium gates, and you can start to see some of the pictures of Atlanta's downtown. Now, this is not the first time... Well, this was the first time I went to Atlanta, and there's the Stinger shuttle sign, because, of course, they're called the Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, so they had to make a pun... Not the first stadium I went to on this trip that made a pun, by the way. But I was saying that this was the first time I went to Georgia. There's the Coca-Cola building. And then the next time I went to Georgia was for the Georgia Peach Bowls football game, which, of course, you've already seen those picture videos and picture slideshows. 
And someone accidentally or on purpose left the gate to the stadium open. And it didn't say no trespassing, so I decided to go in and take a few pictures of the field from the perspective of the stands. And there's a good one. It's kind of like a walkway. It has the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets symbol and everything in there. And there's one of the end zones. Now you can see how it's faded out because it's winter. They haven't repainted any of the lines or symbols yet. There's a long view of the stadium along the, the stands towards the far end zone. I was only at the near one. There you can see a couple of the downtown buildings that I took close-up pictures of beforehand. You can see how big the stadium is. There is a nice park. It's probably the Georgia State flag there. You can see another couple of the buildings of downtown from beyond the stadium. And a couple of the pictures of the historic buildings on the Georgia Tech campus. So that is uh, day three of April of 2011. Clemson and Georgia Tech. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.